Positive, but I don't understand why they're all unconscious on the ground. Boss, we got more company. Look, we were just doing what we were paid to do. You're punishing the wrong people here. You want the real culprit? It's this guy. He hired us to kidnap Sachin. <clears throat> what happened? Who beat you all up? Wait, you mean you aren't with them? With who? Who did this? Uh, first there was this flying brat. Didn't bother asking any questions, just started throwing punches. After that, some guy wearing green came along and interrogated us for a bit. I've got the confirmation I needed. This is the one who masterminded this whole plot. Jawani, Sachin's son. If you have any questions for him, now's your chance to ask them. When you're done, I'm arresting them all and taking them back to the Academia for further interrogation. So why did you hire people to kidnap Sachin? Hmm. <laughs> what do you think? Twenty years ago, we upped and left to go and live a carefree life, not giving a second thought for my welfare. As if that's not bad enough already, he wouldn't put his entire fortune in the care of the Academia, along with a contract saying that one day he'd pass it all on to a genius he admired. That's my inheritance. By rights! You expect me to sit back and watch it go to someone else? If he won't give me what's mine, I'll just have to take it from him. Of course! Didn't he say he would be here somewhere, watching the championship from the shadows? So, I figured I'd get some people to nab him. Then I make him change the contract. And if the Academia doesn't agree to hand over the goods, I make him publicly announce that I'm his chosen genius. No, the old fart knows how to stay hidden. I'll give him that. He's probably cooped up somewhere, watching all this go on, and laughing to himself. <clears throat> I already thought he'd gone mad 20 years ago. And who knows what a madman's truly capable of. Diadem of knowledge? You mean that thing he donated to the Academia? Well, I can tell you that it's very expensive. He sold a lot of assets to purchase it back in the day. <laughs> Weird things started happening after he brought it home, too. For example, Sometimes we'd hear a high-pitched voice coming from the storage room. Also, before donating it to the Academia, he once shut himself in that same storeroom and researched it non-stop for days. Something was already seriously wrong with him by that point. Nothing he did shocked me. What do you mean, something wrong with him? I only have a vague memory of it, since I was very young at the time. But I have the impression that he went out into the desert for research and didn't return for many years. When he finally did return, he was a changed person. He would mumble incomprehensibly and write essays day and night. I asked if I could see what he'd written, but he chased me out of the room. Later, he went out somewhere and took his written essays with him. When he got back, he signed his contract with the Academia. Part of me wonders whether he'd already stopped being my father by that point. Perhaps the man we called Sachin was a demon from the... You can believe me or not. Doesn't matter to me. I told you all I know. But if you do see Sachin, tell him this for me. Whatever it is that he's researching out there, he'll always be garbage in my eyes. You finished? In that case, come with us. Well, we finally caught the guy behind all this. Thanks for providing us with the critical information. Do you still have any lingering concerns? Yeah! Alhatham's notes do mention that item. Scribe Alhatham looked into this matter. Hmm. Understood. Well, if you believe there to be an issue with the diadem, I'd suggest contacting the organizers and getting them to pause the competitions while we investigate. That makes sense. Okay then, let's get back to the venue. We need to tell Karina what's going on. <laughs> Finally back. Where have you been? 
I looked everywhere for you. The third round's already started. We were out capturing some bad guys who wanted to kidnap Sachin. But that's not important right now. We think there might be something wrong with the Diadem of Knowledge, and we'd like to investigate it. The Diadem? That seems unlikely. The Diadem of Knowledge has been used in every extravaganza over the last two decades, always without incident. Why has this come up now? Hmm... This is pretty serious. Let me think. Okay, here's the situation. The Diadem is currently in Mount Ima Forest. We moved it there before the third round began. In the third round, contestants have to go into Mount Ima Forest, find the Diadem, bring it back, and place it on the stand. The first person to do this gets four points. Considering how close the scores are between our contestants, whoever wins this round is very likely to be the winner of the whole competition. As such, I suspect competition to be very fierce. He might not make it in time. I'll mark the Diadem's location for you. Please head there immediately. Let's hope nothing happens. All right, let's go! That's weird. The locator stopped working. Is the forest interfering with it? Ugh. Let's just go grab the Diadem. Why this year? <laughs> Looks like Layla sees the diadem. But getting to the goal won't be easy. Competition is heating up. Oh, and here's Kabe bringing up the rear. Ah, 
At long last, someone to inherit my estate, and with it, my research. Come, Kaveh. Come to me, my child. How do you know my name? Who are you? I am Sachin. Well, to be precise, I am but a fragment of Sachin's mind. Fate is a curious thing. Seeing you reminds me of another I once met. But you are made of sterner stuff than he. More cognizant of the trials and tribulations of this world. It is you who are worthy to inherit all that I once owned. We meet for the first time, children. But what I mean to say now is of utmost importance. So please, pay attention and bear witness. You have all performed outstandingly in this Interdashan Championship. The Academia has many rare talents among its ranks, and you are the creme of the creme. But if I were to choose a successor, I would choose you, Kave. Not only because you are victorious, but also due to our similarities in character. Uh, me? Similar to you? Why, yes. Both of us have the misfortune to be idealists. And that is the source of our misery. Twenty-eight years ago, I came to the desert and lived there for eight full years. What do you think I saw there? Alas, endless strife and slaughter, conflict over water sources, robbing of merchant caravans, exploitation of the people relentlessly, day after day. Beyond the wall of Samiel lay a completely different world from the one I knew. The things I witnessed there tormented me greatly. I wished desperately to find a way to save them. So, did you find a way? As a Vahumana scholar, I tried to use Vahumana knowledge to find the answer. I researched history and anthropology, performed countless experiments on human nature, and even sought out the scholars living deep in the desert who called themselves the Lost Darshan. But in the end, I found that the answer I sought simply did not exist. It was not possible to simply assign blame for these transgressions to any one party. For the sins are carved into humanity's very nature. Our nature begets conflict, and conflict begets destruction. This is the inexorable truth. The aim of my research was to draw lessons from history. But what I discovered was that history offers no such guidance. Things can only ever go from bad to worse. After this realization, I could no longer see the meaning in anything that I had ever learned. Consumed by an overwhelming sense of emptiness, I could no longer bear to face life. And so, I decided to bring my life to an end. But before I went through with it, a strange twist of fate led me to come into the possession of this diadem which has the ability to preserve part of one's consciousness. Into it, I placed my experiences before requesting that the Academia manage my estate. As I thought, the contract you signed with the Academia was in essence your will. But if you'd given up hope on this world, why did you feel the need to do this? I mentioned that I had performed a great many experiments concerning human nature. You may regard this as the very last experiment of them all. The Academia has no shortage of genius talents, nurturing the brightest minds of every generation. And so, with a handsome reward to draw out the worthiest of individuals, my hope was that one day, I would find one who could untangle the mystery of human nature once and for all, and help to move the world onto a better path. I see. So you desired a successor who was not only a genius, but who also understood the suffering of ordinary people. Such a person would have a clearer understanding of humanity, society, and the world. Huh? But did you ever consider that wealth numbs the human heart to the pain in the world? Even an idealist may be incapable of following through on your wishes after inheriting your wealth. You are highly intelligent. Yet you are not the sort of person who would understand my line of thinking. To me, this is also part of the experiment. 
part of my investigation into human nature. Whether my successor suffers as a consequence of my research, or succumbs to an indulgence in pleasure-seeking, my research will have progressed. I grieve the fundamental sickness of the world. I regret the unbearable weight of its history, and I lament the research that I failed to complete. And this, Kaveh, my dear child, is why you will be of great utility to me. You're... you're absolutely certain that you want to give me everything you owned? For me to do with as I please? I have faith in what I see in you. Now wear the diadem, Kaveh, and complete the journey that I could not. <sighs> will the verdict I reached cause you suffering? Or will this newfound wealth numb your heart? I look forward to your answer. All of my research materials are being stored at all. Huh? I've heard enough! My life's enough of a mess already. The last thing I need is more suffering. Keep your mora. I don't need it. Didn't you say that you saw a lot of people in pain? Well, if that's the case, then your wealth can go to them. I guess that'll be the end of that. Kave. Are you all right? Any physical discomfort? I'm fine. <sighs> Thanks, Tainari. Don't worry about me. Don't push yourself too hard. Kave. Kave may have broken the diadem, but he successfully completed the task prior to that. According to the rules, this makes him the victor of round three. Points-wise, this also makes him the winner of the Interdarshan Championship. As the champion and Sachin's personally designated successor, Kaveh has obtained the rights to inherit the entirety of his estate. For the avoidance of doubt, can you confirm that it is your intention to donate all of Sachin's wealth? Like I said, he thought that the world is a bad place. Well then, let's use what he left behind to change it for the better. Rejecting the world will achieve nothing. He and I... We're not the same. All right. As the scribe, I will make a record of this incident on file. The sages will contact you in person for details on how exactly Sachin's estate is to be used. That sounds fine. I don't know if his research findings were right, nor would I know how to finish his research for him. But what I do know is that by ending this here, no contestants will have to suffer. We won't be the last. There will be more championships to come and countless future scholars will follow in our footsteps. Sachin's words can only cause pain, but not anymore. No one else has to hear them now. We're all scholars here. I know full well that shutting down his views like this is autocratic and arrogant. Fine by me. I'll bear that responsibility. It's the least I can do. And, well, it's the only thing I can do. Hmm. Well said. What you've expressed is a sense of justice and idealism that many aspire to, but few dare follow through with. I say this despite the fact that, in my view, it's quite ridiculous. You have long been aware of what your flaws are, but your pride alone prevents you from admitting it. Nevertheless, your perspective is well suited to appearing in a victory speech. Contestant Kaveh, on behalf of the organizing committee, it is my honor to congratulate you on your victory. What? Please. I don't need your insincere praise. Anyway, this isn't the time or place for debates. Keep your commentary focused on the competition, not my views. Congratulations, Kave. Also, you'll need to prepare for the award ceremony. Looks like the ceremony will be held at the main venue. Let's head over and check it out!